Welcome back to Bloom. A holistic approach to healing and total body wellness includes the mind, body, and emotions. Joining me now with insight on the benefits of holistic healing are doctors Lana Gardner and Leah Tickel Taylor from Docs Outside the Box and Kids Outside the Box. It's always such a pleasure to see you both. Good to Hi see you. you. So talk to me about holistic healing. What exactly is that? It's exactly what you said. Considering the person's mind, body, and spirit. So that would include where the person lives, how they're living their life, nutrition, the biochemistry that's normally considered, and past trauma and ancestral lineage. Yeah, and I think that's what makes your practice um, so popular because this is the kind of medicine that you practice. You're doctors, but you look at the patient holistically. So, so how does it come into play at Docs Outside the Box and Kids Outside the Box? So we kind of think of it like that old time family doctor that you remember driving up to the house and seeing the whole family because we see from birth to death. Uh, we we kind of feel that way to our patients. And then we also consider, we don't just farm out to specialists left, right, and center when we're not real sure what the body is expressing. So we investigate, and even when we use specialists, we sort of see ourselves as the person flying the plane. Our patients come back with that information. We consider it. We look at it from all directions and the whole person. Yeah, which is great because a, a lot of people get so frustrated because they're going from doctor to doctor to doctor. So how does your practice differ from a traditional primary care practice? Well, you might say, how is it different than a current primary right. care? This is like it used to be where there would be one doctor that knew you and your family well. The current model, most primary care physicians are busy filling out checklists and following guidelines and not a lot of problem solving going on. There's a lot of referring out to specialists and then just deferring to the opinion of the specialist. That way patients feel that farmed out feeling or that passed along feeling and they need someone to be overseeing and guiding their direction of treatment. And, and I think as somebody who's been in the current primary care uh, space, you just seem like it's just a prescription and you're out the door. To your point, nobody really knows what's going on. So can you give me some examples of how it works at Docs Outside the Box and Kids Outside the Box? Okay, say someone comes in with indigestion. Well, there's a lot of different kinds of indigestion. So we're going to examine the patient, actually put hands on them thoroughly, get a good history. We know them, we know what's going on in their personal life, we know what they did last year at this time. So we'll come up with a treatment plan for whatever kind of indigestion they might have. We try to solve the problem. If we get uh, into a bind and we can't figure something out, of course we're going to refer or get the studies we need done. But even then, we have the patient come back to us and say, let's go over what was recommended. I might know more than the person who doesn't know you about what you'll do or what's good for you and your family. So it's, it's about getting to the root cause of the problem instead of just the Band-Aid approach. Absolutely, and having someone who's willing and capable of helping someone guide their way through all these, these problems. All right, I love it. It's, it's traditional medicine, but with a, with a much deeper dive. We appreciate you joining us on Bloom. It's always such a pleasure to see you, doctors. Always. Thank you. And Docs Outside the Box and Kids Outside the Box are located in St. Petersburg. For more information, pick up the phone right now and call 727-498-8898 or visit online at docsoutsidethebox.us.